AZ104 has replaced AZ103 for Azure administrators. What is the topic-wise difference between these two exams? What's new things included in Azure AZ104 and what's being out or what topics are being removed from this new certification AZ104, including which certification you should go for. Is it AZ104 or 103? I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to another episode of a weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar from team K2 Academy, where we help you in your journey from a beginner, right from stage one covering cloud fundamentals to stage two administration, then stage three, that solution architect or a DevOps engineer to all the way to stage four, that specialist. So before I tell uh, the difference between these two exams, let me quickly explain you in 100104. There are five topics like similar to AZ103. In topic one, you learn identity nexus management, then storage, then compute that includes both infrastructure as well as platform as a service, and then networking, followed by finally backup and a restore, including monitoring. This was explained a little more in detail by Microsoft certified trainer and Azure expert Eva. So if you missed it, you can check it out by going to ketonacademy.com forward slash AZ10402. Now let's look at the difference between these two exams. So if you notice um, here in 103, there was a separate topic that was Azure subscriptions and resources and then managed identities, which was Azure Active Directory users and groups. So that together was 15 to 20% and 15 to 20%. These two topics are combined together, including a single a topic, which is man manage Azure identities and governance. So that together is 15 to 20%. That means a little bit less weight is to subscription or resources or basic concepts as compared to 103. Now storage, uh, the weightage of the storage has gone down slightly in uh, 104. The major difference is, or the main difference is in uh, compute or deploy and manage virtual machines. So in 103, it was VM's uh, management was just 15 to 20%, whereas now it's been increased to 25 to 30%. And now there are two additional topics are being added into Azure 104. So in the previous episode where Eva mentioned that uh, Azure expect you to do not only just infrastructure service, but also platform as a service. So web apps as well as Kubernetes or Azure Kubernetes has been added here. So that's why you see 25 to 30% extra weightage. Now networking is almost same. Now, instead of managed identities here, there was some backup was already there, but it's more about more in detail now monitoring as well as backup and uh, restore, including site recovery and more additional topics about backup and restore. So that covers now 10 to 15% in its own topic. So just what's being added is create and configure containers where we talk about Azure container services as well as Azure con container instances. There's also a new additional topic about web apps where we, how to create and configure app services as well as app service plan. Now in that, if you are coming from an Azure 900 certification, so there are other things as well in web apps, which is functions, logic apps and event grid, but these topics are not in AZ104. What's being excluded or removed from compared to 103. So in 103, there was an additional topic about Azure AD Connect, which was basically connecting your Azure or Microsoft Active Directory on-premise with Azure Active Directory. That's being removed now, which is AD Connect, including the password hash. So anything re with respect to managing hybrid identities, that's being removed in 104. So that's pretty much in a difference between these two. Now, the most common question in our trainings or as your administration certification training we get is, hey, which one should I do? Now, if you have to listen to me, my view is that you should go for Azure AZ 104. That's where future, but I'm recording this in early May 2020, which means at this time of recording, you can still go with 103. There is, I think there are a couple of a uh, few more weeks where you can do 103. But as I said, I want you to test yourself on Azure Kubernetes a topic. Uh, so I would suggest you go for 104 if it's possible. Maybe if you're listening in future where 103 is no more available, then there's no other option. 104 is the only option. So we also have a training program for Azure administration certification. In that certification, we cover both AZ 103 as well as 104. So you get both including step-by-step -step hands on labs. Now, if you're not yet Azure AZ 104 certified, 
then I would like to invite you for a free two hour session with me and Microsoft Certified Trainer and Cloud Expert Eva, where we talk everything about AZ-104. So we'll look at things like why you should learn Azure Cloud, the certification roadmap for 104, and the five main topics that you need to learn, which is identity and governance, storage in Azure, compute in Azure, networking, and then backup, DR, and monitoring. We'll also look at the hands-on lab that you must perform in order to clear the certification. And if you're coming from Oracle background, then towards and we'll look at why Azure DBAs, Apps DBAs, administrators should be, or system administrators should be learning the Azure Cloud. So to check this Azure architecture, Azure Active Directory, subscriptions, resources, management groups, storage accounts, or Azure Kubernetes services, networking, and Azure Site Recovery, including job opportunities available for Microsoft Azure administrators, then don't forget to subscribe for a two-hour free session with me and Eva. So the URL is k2nacademy.com forward slash AZ10402, where AZ104 is the certification number and a 02 after that. So it's k2nacademy.com forward slash AZ10402. Now, if you have any other question for me or at whatever stage of your cloud journey you are, whether it's 01 fundamentals to administrator or you've already cleared certification or you've already cleared administration and now you want to go for a DevOps or solution architect or anything related to Azure Cloud, then don't forget to leave a comment. I'll make sure that I'll get back to you with an answer. With that, this is Atul from Team k Academy. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like it, then don't forget to share it with your colleagues. And I'll see you next week with another video on Azure.